Here at the Charleston International Airport, TSA is working closely with the Department of Homeland Security and CDC to prepare for the coronavirus. The Charleston International Airport sees seven to 8,000 passengers every day. By the end of May, that number increases to 10,000 passengers a day. We're all conscious of it. We're all going to be a little safer. TSA Regional Spokesperson Mark Howell says they have seen an increase in passengers packing hand sanitizer or sanitary wipes since the coronavirus outbreak. He says that is allowed as long as it is under the required 3.4 fluid ounces. Well, I, I got the wipes like they said and um, when I get on the plane I'm going to wipe down the arms of the plane and the tray and you know, that's the best I can do and <laughs> just, you know, when I not touch the railing, um, you know, just not touch anything and not touch my face. So that's that's really what I can do. You are also allowed to wear a sanitary face mask, but will be required to remove it in security to confirm identity. As far as the airlines and what they could do, I, you know, I don't know. I'm not at the point where I need to think I, I need to get a, a, a mask. You know, if they were going to do that, maybe, but um, at, at this point, I don't think it's necessary. Now, China, Iran, Italy, and South Korea are on a level three travel health notice, which is a warning to avoid non-essential travel. TSA recommends that you also follow CDC guidelines and wash your hands before and after security screening. At Charleston International Airport, Danielle Hensley, count on two.